we are the Scottish Falsetto Sock, Puppet Theatre, and so am I, and so is he. You see, Mad Men, oh, I love Mad Men. Well, you do know that Mad Men was originally Scottish, was it? Aye, originally called Mad Mental, because advertising is Scottish. It never is. I'll prove it. What do you call a piece of music used in an advert? I don't know. What do you call a piece of music used in an advert? Jingle. What do you call a piece of music used in an advert? J a jingle! A jingle! Bless you! So what do you call a piece of music used in an advert? You see, that's Scottish, it is the jingle. Is it? Look at the word. Jingle! We've got gulls, we say jings. Jingles! It's Scottish. What about jingle bells? Bells, whiskey, Scottish. The clues are there. So what other forms of advertising are there? Interstitial, bless you. So what other forms of advertising are there? My my favourite is subliminal advertising. Sibilibilibil, but as you've lost me. Well, see, of course it's illegal now, but say we had a tour coming up with shows at the Leicester Comedy Festival and the Glasgow Comedy Festival and the Bath Comedy Festival and, and the Brighton Fringe and Inverness and, and all over the country and we wanted people to buy tickets for them. One way you could make them do it was subliminally. Subliminal. It's a funny word. It is. It means literally sub, that's under, your limmy, that's limmy, you know, the fellow who's got that sketch show on BBC Scotland, the one that they don't show in England, that's the one. And when you're advertising subliminally, you go under limmy, under limmy, sublimmy, it makes sense. It's, that's where the word limbo comes from. You live and learn. So could we use subliminal limmy, imma limmy, imma limmy, imma limmy, imma to advertise our new tour? with all the shows that we're doing? Have you no ethics? Um, no, no ethics, but we do have shows coming up in Thumberfeth in Scotland. Boom, boom! I thank you.